Hello, earlier today I came across this pure CSS demo and looking at the CSS I noticed something. Here there are two nested loops, so that's 30 times 30, 900, um, and then we're going to uh, have, uh, I think that's going to be uh, five rules there, plus two that's going to be seven times uh, 900, that's going to be over 6,000 lines of generated code, which is a lot, so let's look at the compiled CSS a bit. Um, so I said it's going to be over 6,000 and we're already there, 7,000, 8,000, uh, 9,000. So it's well over 9,000 lines of code, which is a lot. So let's see how you can do this in a more compact manner. Also in terms of HTML, because here there are 30 times 3,900. So I'm going to try to do it with just 30. So that's going to be 30 times. And here we're going to have uh, spike elements. Uh, and that's it for the structure. And here we're going to have a number of spikes, which is going to be the same as uh, for the HTML structure. We're also going to have dot diameters, which we're going to set to 2.5 viewport minimum units. Uh, the, in, the original demo is in pixels, but let's do this uh, so that it's responsive. So um, here we're going to have spike and we're going to uh, set width uh, equal to that dot diameter. And we're going to have the same value for the height. And finally, here we're going to set a uh, background uh, current color. And um, let's make this a bit more visible. Uh, color. We're going to set this to an HSL value. And one thing. Uh, here I'm going to use a calc value, and this is not going to work in Firefox. I'm going to drop a link in the description, and uh, you can see the Firefox bug, and you can go there, comment, say how useful this would be, because it works in Chrome, it works in Safari, it works in Edge, it doesn't work in Firefox, and it would be really, really useful. Um, so here I'm going to compute a unit angle, and this one is going to be 360 over the number of spikes. And the reason I'm not using 360 degrees is that uh, using degrees works in the SAS HSL function, but not in the CSS HSL function. So here I'm going to have um, an I index times uh, that unit angle. Um, we're going to max out the saturation to 100 and a middle of the way lightness 50%. And if we set that I index to zero, so this is going to be the default value, uh, we can see it in red there. So what we're going to do now is set position absolute. Okay, then we're going to set top uh, 50%, left 50% as well. Uh, and we're also going to set a margin here, a negative margin, minus half the dot diameter so that it's right in the middle. One more thing we're going to set here is border radius. And this one is going to be 50% so that everything is round. Now, we want to create the spikes. So we're going to have a mix-in spike. Uh, and this one is going to take an n value, and this one is going to be the number of dots by default. Uh, it's also going to uh, take an um, unit offset, the unit offset, and this one is going to be by default is going to be half the dot diameter. Um, next, we're going to set a shadow uh, list, and this one is going to be empty initially. Then we're going to have a loop here. So for i from zero to n, we're going to have uh, the new version of the shadow list is going to be the previous version of the shadow list. Um, and then we're going to have i times the unit offset, 0. And again, i times the unit offset and 0 and 3m for the blur. Um, and then we're going to have box shadow, uh, shadow list. Okay. And now that I've done this, I'm going to include this mixin. So um, here I'm going to have include spike. So uh, this should add the box shadow. Um, okay, uh, so one thing I haven't set is the number of dots, which is 30 here. Uh, and one more thing I'm going to set is a number of groups, which is 3. 
Uh, as you can notice here, we have three groups. Okay, now next thing that I'm going to do is um, set here, I'm going to have a loop. So for i from 0 to the number of uh, spikes, I'm going to have nth child i plus 1. And I'm going to set uh, that i to the loop index. Okay, so uh, this should do it. Now, next thing is set a transform here. And I'm going to have rotate. And here I'm going to have the exact same value as here, except here I'm also going to need to multiply with one degree because it doesn't work unitless inside the rotation. So yeah, this is it. Then we're going to have translate. And we're going to leave this zero for now. One more thing we're going to do here is compute an x offset. And this one is going to be uh, 0.25 times the number of dots times the dot diameter. Um, and I'm going to set it there. So uh, the x offset. Um, then I'm also going to use here as a negative margin minus that x offset. And I'm also going to set here a uh, transform origin um, that x offset 50%. Okay. So uh, now that I've done this, here I'm going to set 1.5 times it. Um, and I'm going to take this and I'm actually this is going to be a base value. Um, and here I'm going to set transform to that uh, base volume. And I'm going to take it uh, and I'm going to put it in a mixin. Uh, sorry, in a keyframe animation. Um, keyframes. It's going to be a simple two. And here I'm going to have scale zero and I think it's not going to work uh, without a scale in the first one as well so I'm going to need to set a uh, scale one there okay so um, one more thing I need to set is um, an animation duration let's say 0.75 seconds now let's uh, go back here and let's set an animation animation uh, we're going to have uh, the animation name, uh, animation duration, timing function, repeat, infinite. So um, this should now work, but they all animate at the same time, and that's not what we want. So again, we're going to use this, and here we're going to multiply with minus the animation duration over the number of spikes times the number of groups. So uh, this should do it. Okay, so um, this is it, the final result. And we can see the compiled CSS is a lot shorter. So we just have 128 lines. And uh, I don't know, it, it could probably be even shorter than that if I compact a few more things. Um, let's see. So here I can go just uh, from one. Uh, and the really cool thing is I can change the number of groups here. So for example, I can have five groups. Uh, and the compiled CSS is still just as big. It doesn't add up any more lines. So as you can see, I have 125 lines. And uh, this is uh, for any number of groups. I can have five groups, I can have two groups, six, four. Uh, let's go back to uh, the initial three. So um, yeah, there are a lot of things that um, are WebKit only. So for example, using calc inside rotate, using it as an animation delay, um, 
these only work in WebKit browsers. And one more thing here, if I don't use current color, it may not work in Safari. So I'm not sure about that. Current color. It may not be needed. I don't know. I'm not sure. But the thing is, it's a lot uh, less code and um, it scales nicely, as you can see here. And it's all CSS, which is really cool because uh, a while ago we weren't able to do this with just CSS. So this is it for today. You can find the link to the CodePen demo and two other things in the description below. And if you have any further questions, you can drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description below. With a donation, by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist, or at least by sharing this to show the world what can be done with CSS today. Because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.